Operation Sunrise, or the Burn Incident, refers to a series of secret negotiations from February to May 1945 between representatives of Nazi Germany and the Western Allies of World War II to arrange a local surrender of German forces in northern Italy. Most of the meetings took place in the vicinity of Bern, Switzerland, and the lead negotiators were Waffen SS General Karl Wolf and American agent Alan Dulles. The meetings provoked Soviet suspicion that the Americans were seeking to sign a separate peace with the Germans and led to heated correspondence between Joseph Stalin and Franklin Roosevelt. An early episode of the emerging Cold War, Roosevelt denied that there were any negotiations for surrender taking place in Switzerland. Dulles, however, appears to have made a verbal agreement to protect SS General Wolf from prosecution at the Nuremberg trials as they worked out details of surrender. Although Switzerland was neutral during World War II, the Swiss intelligence officer Max Weibel and the school director Max Hussmann arranged for the meetings. Prime Minister Winston Churchill was following the discussion closely, and said he believed that misunderstandings with the Soviets were resolved with Roosevelt's death on April 13. Churchill referred to the negotiations as Operation Crossword, apparently because he found them puzzling. In spite of warnings from other officials that he was violating the Casablanca Agreement that called for all dealings with Axis members to be on terms of unconditional surrender, Dulles worked supportively with Wolf, determined to end the war before the Communists reached Trieste. President Harry Truman officially closed down talks with the Germans in Switzerland, and made sure that a Russian general was represented at the talks in Caserta, Italy that finalized the surrender of the entire force. Nonetheless, fallout from the incident seems to have discouraged full Soviet participation in the founding United Nations conference later that month. Topic: Events. On the 23rd of February 1945, Dulles accepted Wolf's offer to explore terms of a local surrender. In an 8 March meeting in Lucerne organized by Swiss intelligence officer Max Weibel, Wolf offered the following plan, Army Group C goes into Germany, while Allied Forces Commander Harold Alexander advances in the direction of the South. On 12 March the U.S. Ambassador in the USSR, W. Averell Harriman, notified Vyacheslav Molotov of the possibility of Wolf's arrival in Lugano to conduct negotiations on the German Army's surrender in Italy. On the same day, Molotov replied that the Soviet government would not object to talks between American and British officers and the German general, provided that representatives of Soviet military command could also take part in them. However, on 16 March the Soviet side was informed that its representatives would not be allowed to take part in negotiations with Wolf in any case. Meanwhile, on 15 and 19 March, Wolf discussed details of how an actual surrender would proceed with American General Lyman Lemnitzer and British General Terence Airy. On the 22nd of March Molotov, in his letter to the American ambassador, wrote that for two weeks, in Bern, behind the back of the Soviet Union, negotiations between representatives of the German military command on one side and representatives of American and British command on the other side are conducted. The Soviet government considers this absolutely inadmissible. This led to Roosevelt's letter to Stalin on 25 March and Stalin's reply on 29 March. Wolf and his forces were being considered to help implement Operation Unthinkable, a secret plan to invade the Soviet Union which Winston Churchill advocated during this period. Wolf was later proven to be complicit in the murder of 300,000 Jews. On April 26, the SS General was captured by Italian partisans, but was rescued by Dulles Office of Strategic Services OS, and Swiss intelligence. The actual surrender in Italy was signed on 29 April 1945 agreeing to a cessation of hostilities on 2 May. Wolff justified his actions to Berlin officials by explaining that the agreement had preempted a communist uprising in northern Italy. Wolf and his officers were not interned at this time, but instead celebrated the resolution at Gestapo headquarters in Bolzano for several days with Allied commanders. 
The Americans had to periodically repel partisans who attempted to seize the Germans. Victory in Europe Day occurred on the 8th of May. Topic: <laughs> Aftermath. Operation Sunrise was depicted in the Soviet TV series 17 Moments of Spring, where it was called Operation Sunrise Crossword. <laughs>